Welcome to this demo series on Juniper CN2 and Appstra. In this new integration, you'll see how we've seamlessly extended connectivity and secure segmentation from Kubernetes clusters into the physical switching fabric. In this demo series, you'll see all about how it works in quick video demonstrations. And in this introduction, we'll talk about some of the use cases. Now, first things first, in this kind of data center environment that you typically have running Kubernetes clusters, you've often got things outside of the Kubernetes clusters, such as bare metal servers, just as one example, and we'll come on to as things that will need to be interconnected with the pods and VMs that are networked by CN2, in this case, inside of the Kubernetes cluster. Networking these things together can really be a tall order, and a lot of complexity is involved in the manual tasks that this may take in the various approaches that network teams may try. In this new integration, we have seamlessly and automatically built connectivity between the switching fabric that's managed by Astra, which as a reminder is a multi-vendor switching fabric management tool, and the CN2 SDN for Kubernetes. So you can seamlessly extend the overlays inside of the cluster to, for example, the EVPN VXLAN overlays inside of the physical switching fabric. In talking about use cases, we see here that we've got applications and nodes that exist inside of the Kubernetes cluster and often bare metal servers, whether they be running bare metal workloads or virtual machines that just exist outside of the Kubernetes environment. And those things often need to talk to each other. Networking wise, this means that you might want to try to stretch a network or in other words, a subnet between the Kubernetes environment and the environment that is interconnecting the bare metal servers. In other words, your physical data center switching fabric, in this case managed by Astra. Now, that could be a lot of work. The other way that you can try to do this, which is still a lot of work, is to use two different virtual networks and have these networks exchange routes and reachability information so that the applications can reach each other. Now, all of this is done automatically with a few simple configurations inside of the Kubernetes environment with the CN2 Astra add-on. The other use case that we've got relates to SRIOV. SRIOV is a connectivity type that uses low latency and high throughput by bypassing any kind of server-based networking that you have in place. And just delivering packets from the workload, in this case, the container inside of Kubernetes environment directly to the network interface card. This technology is used often in telco cloud for containerized and virtual network functions that need such performance benefits. It's also used in enterprise environments where you're training machine learning models with technologies like RDMA over ethernet. In these kinds of environments, the SRIOV standard network device plugin is responsible for taking care of the networking relating to binding the container to the network interface cards interface. From there, everything is left to the networking team in the physical networking fabric to ensure that it gets onto some kind of virtual network. And those virtual networks are of course not interconnected in any way normally to the Kubernetes environment. So if you've got different SRIOV workloads that need segmentation, that would all be done manually. And if it needs any kind of connectivity into other bare metal servers or into certainly the workloads inside of the Kubernetes environment that are normal workloads networked in this case through CN2 and the vRouter, all of that stuff would typically be done manually without this new integration that facilitates all of this kind of stuff automatically. Now, the rest of this series is going to be dedicated to how it works. How does the integration actually work? Well, before we look at some of those demonstration videos, we'll talk a little bit about the environment that we've got. We've got Astra. It supports, as we said, a multi-vendor set of switching devices and network operating systems. In this case, we're using Junos and QFX series devices. On that switching fabric, we've got servers connected. Some of those servers are representing our Kubernetes cluster. Others are representing bare metal servers and virtual machine-based workloads on those bare metal servers that we're gonna interconnect into our regular pods inside of the Kubernetes environment. We've also got the Kubernetes environment, of course, networked using CN2, now installed with this CN2 and Astra add-on. Because we need to use the standard SRIOV network device plugin that's responsible for the SRIOV connectivity into the physical NICs, we're running multiple CNIs, hence we need to use Multis to straddle multiple CNIs. And as a reminder, when we use Multis, we use network attachment definitions, or NADs for short, as a representation for the virtual networks. So you'll expect to see that, and then you'll use some of the standard CN2 building blocks like virtual network routers, 
which is our topology construct to interconnect multiple virtual networks together, such as those not just in the CN2 environment now, but also across the CN2 environment and those that are represented inside of CN2 for the Astro virtual networks too. Let's have a look. 